isn't it? Uh, we gotta do that again sometime. Oh yeah. Hey you. Yeah, so you got my profit and loss statement balance sheet ready. Right here, sir. The car took us along. Baker will like this. That was a close one. Yeah, it was. Alright, get back to work. Hey, see your inbox for any account changes we need to make. And password protect that QuickBooks so every Tom, Dick, and Harry can't get into our accounting records. Welcome to Chapter 2. This chapter focuses on customizing QuickBooks and working with the chart of accounts. This is how to customize QuickBooks to your preferences. To start, go up to Edit and find Preferences. This lists everything you can change in QuickBooks. For example, Company Payroll Preferences and Service Connection Options. Now, find Desktop View and switch to My Preferences. Here you can see that you can also change the color scheme of your QuickBooks file. Now under Accounting in the Company Preferences, you can also see that you can enable the use of account numbers, which can be very helpful. When you're finished, click OK. Click on the Chart of Accounts in the Company section. Notice that these are a list of accounts for Rock Castle. To add a new account, go to the bottom, click on Account, Find New, select the account type. From there you click Continue. Next you will enter the name, the number, the description, and the tax line of the account. Finally you click Save and Close. To delete an account, First click on the account or highlight the account, right click on it, choose delete, and click OK. To edit an account, click or highlight the account, right click on the account, choose edit, change any information that needs to be changed, finally click save and close. To view all the accounts, go to the bottom click on reports, click on the account listing, and up pops a list of official accounts. Click company in the toolbar, choose set up users and passwords, select set up users, click edit users, Enter your administrative password and choose a security question and be sure to type the answer. Click next and finish. Now we're going to click add user. Enter your username and password. In this case we're going to use future CEOs our password is star 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 star. Click next. Select all areas of access and click next. Review, choose finish and close. In order to get to the company snapshot, click company snapshot at the top of the toolbar. The Company Snapshot is a tool that provides charts and graphs of income, expenses, and other useful data to make decisions. To add more content, click Add Content. Click the content that you want. For example, we will pick Vendors to Pay. The chart for Vendors to Pay will show up at the top now. And now, every time you click on Company Snapshot, the newly added content will appear. This is the end of Chapter 2. Please stay tuned for Chapter 3. What a meal. Oh, yeah. Back to work, I guess. All right. What is this? Yeah. Uh, Man, I, I has to be doing everything. I'm not going to remember this. Uh, I don't know. I know what I should do.
need to. Yeah. I'm gonna add this to the to-do list, a QuickBooks. That way I won't forget. I, I never knew there was anything. Right. And, what a long uh, day. Just, Another note. Those people no, Getting January 1st, I want to report what, listing like, advertising what? costs right. and promotion costs separately so we can track effectiveness. Who does he think I am? Dwight from the office? To add